Last week, we announced all the updates and new features to AppRite 1.7 with a week-long celebration called Init. Every day, we would go live on YouTube, we would make a new announcement, and we would host some kind of special event. And all I can say is, wow, what a week. We kicked the week off with the announcement of AppRite Sites, which got us to number one product of the day on Product Hunt, and also had us trending on GitHub all week long. Now, what Sites is, is AppRite's hosting service. And this is also known as the open source alternative to Vercel. So now, along with all the backend services that AppRite provides, you can now host your application with AppRite and it's as easy as connecting your GitHub repo and clicking deploy. So now you can host your backend and frontend all from one place. It's important to note that while you can use all these services together, you can use Sites as a standalone product, so you're not tied to any of the other AppRite services. The next announcement was a complimentary feature to day one's announcement, and that is support for Flutter Web with AppRite Sites. What makes this unique is oftentimes hosting platforms don't support Flutter Web out of the box and require you to take extra steps just to get your application online. AppRite's out of the box support for Flutter Web makes it so you can host and scale your application without any extra configuration. The addition of dev keys solve frustrating bugs and setup issues that developers can run into during the development process. Dev keys can now be used on the client side to bypass rate limits and cores issues, all things that can slow down the development process or require extra configuration. The way this works is you can now create a dev key from the console and you can add this to your client instance when you initialize it using the set dev key method. And now during development, you'll no longer face rate limits or cores issues. On day Four, we announced support for two new image formats with AppRite Storage, and this was HEIC and AVIF. So now you can take advantage of quicker loading times and better compression offered by these two formats without any extra configuration. So if you're looking to build media heavy apps or you just want to store iPhone images, now you have more options and it got easier with AppRite Storage. For the last announcement on day five, we introduced file tokens. With file tokens, you can control who gets access to your files and how long they're available, and you can do all of this without any extra steps. Now, previously when you shared files, you would need to update your file or bucket permissions. You might need to add a user to your platform and file tokens allows you to do this in an easier way. Now with file tokens, it's as easy as creating a custom token, then using that token to create a secure and shareable URL. So that concludes it for all the announcements for AppRite 1.7. If you wanna learn more, I'm gonna link up announcements to each day down in the video description. I'll also add links to the blog posts and articles that were released. So make sure to check those out and I'll see you all in the next video.